Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, how are you guys? Fine, same teacher. Perfect. How was your week weekend? Did you have a an excellent weekend? Did you relax? Yes, excellent teacher. All right. Good. Thank you for joining, guys. We're going to start in a few seconds. I will pass the tennis first, and then you know we're going to start. All right. So please, as soon as you listen to your names, tell me up and say present or here I am. Right. Welcome, welcome. Good afternoon. We are starting the class. Welcome, guys. How are you? How are you doing? Good. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Was it tennis? Well, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, as soon as you listen to your names, everybody, please, I will ask you to say present or, you know, here I am. Let's go. Adam? Present. Good. Alexander? Ana Silvia? Carolina? Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Elizabeth? Claudia Lisette? Carlos Jose? Talia? Present teacher. Dalia. Thank you. Dora? Dora? Enrique? Hazel? Present. Good. Jeremias? Present. Thank you. Present. Very good. Joanna? Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Mario? Kenya? Present, teacher. Thanks. Lady? Lady? Present. Thank you. Liliana? Present teacher. Good. Marina? Marina? Ricardo? Sandra? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Sarai? Sarai? Saraya? Thanks. Stephanie? Vanessa? Present teacher. Thanks. Susana? Present teacher. Perfect. Tatiana? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Leonel? Laura? Present teacher. Present. Alba? Eric? Michelle? And Edgar? Okay. Um, Excuse me, teacher. Claudia. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Claudia and Silvia, good afternoon. Welcome. Teacher. You're welcome. Teacher. Sorry, no worries. Yeah, you're in my list. Thank you, Sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? I think must not mention all. Además de Claudia, Ana Silvia. Okay, somos todos. Estamos acá ahora. Okay, uh, well, it's, it's a pleasure to be with you guys. Let me see in the chat. Oh, Michelle, very good, thank you. I can see Leonel. Hello, Leonel, good afternoon. Thank you for joining, Leonel. Okay, let's start. All right, can you see the presentation? 
Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. All right, listen. If we will continue practicing with present continuous. That was the previous topic, right? We will continue because, you know, this is a, an extent topic and I need you to practice more this form, these things, present continuous and present parenthesis, right? Uh, today is Monday, August 16. This is class number 15. We're missing uh, two classes, this one and, and tomorrow's class, right? And we finished with the course, right? Uh, some announcements, quickly. And I will say this in Spanish. Par de anuncios rapidito. Lo primero, lo, y lo, este es el último recordatorio, ¿verdad? Con respecto a la, a la plataforma. Eh, si ya hemos completado, que es la mayoría, ¿verdad? Los que han completado ya la plataforma. Muy bien, los felicito por su trabajo. Gracias por presentar sus actividades y por supuesto eh, por ir practicando y aprendiendo mucho más, ¿verdad? Es que hay que seguir así. Sigamos trabajando de la mejor manera y obviamente aprendiendo mucho más, ¿verdad? Si hay dudas o consultas, les repito, les reitero, estamos siempre a la orden, ¿ok? Y con respecto a, a la fecha de, de inicio, recuerden que está tentativa. Hay que estar atentos, estar pendientes, porque se nos va a informar en, en cualquier momento con respecto a, al inicio del próximo módulo, ¿ok? Eh, son como dos o tres participantes de los que estamos pendientes con la plataforma. Ya me comuniqué con, con, con algunos de ellos. Eh, así es que es un, hemos completado, repito, no hay de qué preocuparse. Si nos hace falta, recuerden que ese es el último día. El último día para completar todo. Y pues ya mañana nos quedaríamos con la última clase. Vamos a, a reforzar mucho más. Y por supuesto voy a, a discutir un poco y lo del examen final, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes, pues, si tienen, tuvieran alguna duda, les si generan alguna duda, o tuvieran un problema con algún ejercicio, lo podamos desarrollar y lo podamos discutir acá en clase. ¿verdad? Eso va a ser mañana. Eh, mañana sería el último día, la última clase, así es que no se les olvide estar siempre en sintonía y, eh, por supuesto, hay que finalizar de la misma manera. Así es que, um, repito, si no me lograron escuchar, la fecha de, de inicio para el siguiente módulo es tentativa. Se va a notificar en cuanto pues, las autoridades de inglés operativo tengan ya eh, el aval y ya tengan las, las fechas de inicio, se les va a notificar. Entonces, ¿Y les... cuál es la fecha tentativa? Eh, cuando decimos fecha tentativa es porque no hay fecha aún. Es decir, ah. están trabajando en eso. Porque uh -huh. inglés operativo espera, ellos están a la espera de, de la aval. Recuerden que esos programas son eh, auspiciados por, por Interpol. Entonces, ellos están a la espera de que ellos les den el aval para, para poder iniciar. Porque todavía estamos en espera, pero eso sí va a ser pronto. No sé, no sé qué es. Uh, de, de momento, les recomiendo que sigamos practicando con, con esos temas que, que hemos visto durante ese módulo, sigamos practicando y si hay dudas durante esa semana, en eh, cuanto iniciamos en, con el nuevo módulo, ¿verdad? Me pueden hacer preguntas. Así que sigamos practicando para que no se nos vaya olvidando, por decirlo así, el, los contenidos o algún estructuras, etcétera, que hayamos visto en ese curso. Así que seguir así, seguir practicando y estamos listos para el próximo módulo. Entonces ya pre-intermediate too. Entonces, si hay dudas o preguntas. Con respecto a la información que se les envió hace un momento, hace una, hace una hora, y en el grupo de WhatsApp, no sé si todos han podido revisar el grupo de WhatsApp, se les envió información de parte de inglés cooperativo con respecto al recordatorio de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Primero, de, la, la, de complementar la plataforma para ese día, ya que ese día debe estar completo todo. Y la próxima semana, perdón, eh, lo otro fue de que 
los nuevos cursos que Inglés Cooperativo va a ofrecer muy pronto, ¿verdad? Así que estemos atentos, si estamos interesados, pues, vemos. no duden en hacerlo. Eso sí, lo que comentaban en el grupo, creo que lo enviaron después, o creo que fue parte del grupo de, de facilitadores, hacían la pregunta a algunos participantes que, que si se podían inscribir más de un curso, es decir, por darles un ejemplo, ustedes deciden quedarse en inglés todavía, pero quieren eh, agregar otro, otro curso. Eh, la contestación o la respuesta que se dio en, el, en ese grupo de facilitadores, eh, estamos incluidos, fue de que, que se lo comento acá para que ustedes estén al, al tanto, es decir, que pueden incluirse o pueden inscribirse a más de un curso. Que lo tengan en mente. Eso sí, siempre y cuando, siempre y cuando perdón, no choque con, con su horario. Si digamos en inglés, si ustedes están en el horario de 1 a 2, no les va a chocar el horario con, con otro curso, ya sea marketing digital, no olvida el otro, que eran los otros, eran con respecto a Microsoft Excel, Excel. Diseño gráfico. Ya Adobe. Ya Exacto. Esos son los tres cursos que, que en inglés cooperativo está ofreciendo. Bueno, muy pronto se, va, se van a dar. Así es que, si estamos interesados, vamos, démosle. Buen sábado de año, démosle. Digamos, eh, aprendiendo mucho más, ¿verdad? Cada día se aprenden nuevas cosas y pues no hay restricción de, de edad, ¿verdad? Siempre se aprenden nuevas cosas. Así es que, digamos, sigamos. Si queremos aprender mucho más, no sé que no se nos impida. Hay que seguir. Es que esos cursos se han ofrecido muy pronto, ¿verdad? Me imagino yo que los van a estar pues, lanzando muy pronto. Eh, pues en, como hacemos con el nuevo módulo inglés. Eh, los estén, pues ya se estén incluyendo participantes para esos cursos. Así es que, repito, se pueden inscribir más de uno. Pues si ustedes deciden, obviamente, imagino yo que seguir con inglés, ¿verdad? Y tomar un curso de final. Entonces, si hay dudas o preguntas con respecto a esa información que se dio. No, no, teacher. Excelente. Igual, si hay dudas, preguntas, alguna consulta que tengan, con gusto. Si tengo la respuesta, yo se las comparto. Si no, pues yo con gusto puedo eh, preguntar o consultar. ¿A dónde enviaron esa información, teacher, por WhatsApp o por correo? Sí, en el, en el perdón, en el correo, es decir, en el grupo de WhatsApp se envió, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Uh... Hace, hace una hora, bueno, hace dos horas quizás, casi las dos horas, se envió en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí está, así es que verifiquemos que no hemos revisado o no nos cayó el mensaje. Eh, ahí está, ahí se les envió. Sí. Repito, son tres cursos que van a, a estar proporcionando. Marketing digital, Marketing and Excel y el de Adam. Es que están interesados a inscribirse. Pueden estar más de uno. Es inglés, uno de esos esos cursos, etcétera, etcétera. Es que ahí les comparto. Igual bueno, se les ha, se les envía esa información temprano, ¿verdad? Creo que la mayoría ya la, la, la vimos, pero hago el anuncio acá también, ¿verdad? por si hay dudas o preguntas. No sé si hay otra pregunta. Si no, iniciamos. Sí, Laura, siempre, Laura hace una pregunta en el chat, si los cursos siempre serían en línea. Sí, siempre serían en línea. Siempre en línea. Ahora, por el momento, Inglés Cooperativo está compartiendo, usando eh, cursos, módulos siempre en línea. Es que siempre serían en línea. Eso tengo entendido, ¿verdad? no sé si ma, ellos van a, a, a compartir otra información, si por ejemplo, presencial, pues creería que no. Sé que siempre son en, en línea. 
Es que estemos atentos, igual se va a estar compartiendo más información en el grupo WhatsApp o se, los, o se les va a compartir por correo. Ambas vías de comunicación hacemos pendientes porque se les comparte más información con respecto a eso. ¿verdad? Ok, no sé si alguien más. No, teacher. Thank you. Ok, we keep on with the present continuous. That's what we did in the previous class, but, you know, I bring the topic again because I want you to do so. I need you to practice more with the present continuous. Let's go. We have some extra activities, some exercises, and of course, I have a game. So the game is at the end, right? Perfect. Let's go. Well, what do you remember about the present continuous? Can you tell me? When do we use it? When do we use present continuous? When do we use present? Exactly. Exactly. You can say, uh, Katiana, when we want to talk about actions that are happening at the moment. Uh, Maybe in the future, future? Yeah, we can use it in the future too. But that would be, you know, that's another use, exactly. That's another use. We're going to see that, we will see that aspect about the present continuous soon, okay? No worries. I don't want it to get confused right now. Vamos a ver ese, ese otro uso. Claro, se usa para futuro también, de presente continuo. Pero por el momento vamos a enfocarnos en, en acciones que están pasando o ocurriendo en el momento. Eh, claro, podemos utilizar present continuous for future plans. Ok, let me give you just an example. You can say, I am going to the beach next Saturday. This is the way we use present continuous with future plans. I am going to the beach next Saturday. This is a future plan. Future plan. And that is present continuous. This is the use of present, the present continuous, perdón, para planes a futuro. This is otro uso. Pero lo vamos a ver más adelante. Es que, ¿cuál es la aclaración? Porque la compañera lo mencionaba. ¿Cuál es la aclaración? Y les doy el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a dejar eso de una ahorita. Espero que nos confundamos. Y vamos a continuar con ese uso, ¿verdad? We use it to talk about actions that are happening at the moment. ¿Ya? 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 ¿En inglés? We use it to talk about actions, actions that are happening at the moment. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, welcome, Stephanie. Thank you. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you for asking. All right, we continue. We are using the present continuous uh, for this class, Stephanie. When do we use it? As your classmates said, we use the present continuous to talk about actions that are happening at the moment. Okay, for example, when you said, in my case, I am explaining the present continuous to you right now. This is an action that is in progress. It is happening now. So I am explaining the present continuous to you. The opposite, or I would say a, a negative form, it can be like, I'm not watching TV now. This is something that I, I am not doing now because I am in a class, I am delivering a class. So I am not watching TV now, okay? That was a negative, negative way, right? 
We already saw this in the previous class, but I am reinforcing this topic to you. And we're going to practice today. These were the structures that we'll be using for the present continuous. For the affirmative form, we use a subject. We use the verb be. What is the verb be? Um, is are. Is are, exactly. This is the verb be. Um, is are. Plus, we have a verb. The verb is in ing form. I'm sorry? Yeah, the verb is in ing form. Thank you. And at the end, we, we use a complement. We use the complement. So in that case, in the complement, we can have a, a time expression, a time expression like right now, now, today, currently, well, it depends, right? Currently, uh, we can use at the moment, etc. We have an example here. He's playing, I don't know, soccer right now. My brother is playing soccer right now. Okay. That's the way we use or we construct ideas in the affirmative way. What about negative? Negative, we can say, or we can use a similar structure, but we include something else. We use a subject, we use a verb be, am, is, are. We use or we include not in the structure because it's negative. Then we use a verb in ing form. Finally, we have a complement. And now we can say, he isn't playing. As we said in the previous class, let me reinforce this, because we have the three forms. Affirmative, we use a subject, remember? Okay, the verb be. The verb, we have another verb, but this is in, in the I to form. And at the end, we have the complement. So again, you can say, um, he is playing soccer now. This is in the affirmative way. You can identify the different parts of the speech. Subject, the verb be, this is a verb in 94, and this is a comment. This is in the affirmative way, right? The negative, as we said in the previously and in the previous class, so it's similar, but we include not after the verb be. And now you can say he isn't playing, playing soccer now. Let's identify and analyze the sentence. This is the subject. This is the verb be in negative in this case. This is a verb in ing form. This is a complement. Remember that we can use contractions. So in here we have a contraction, okay? And we can say contractions. When we say I'm not, it's because we this equals I am not. Except equals he is not. Isn't equals he is not. They aren't equals they are not, okay? So we use contractions. This is a contraction. He is, he is not, he is not. Okay, affirmative in a negative way. Then we have the questions, right? With the questions, we were saying that we had two, two different forms, right? Just no questions and WH questions. Just no questions and WH questions. And the way we structure the questions is simple. We use at the beginning now the verb be plus a subject. Then we use a verb. This one is in the ing form, remember? And at the end, we have a complement with a question mark. And we can say, are you? Play, I would say, are you watching a movie now? 
So you can answer, yes, I am. Or we can say, no, I'm not. This is the way we can respond. We get short answers. Las cosas cortas. Are you watching a movie? Um, Claudia? Claudia, listen. Mm, no, I know. Okay, perfect. Are you watching a movie? Um, Leonel? No, I am not. Okay. Are you paying attention in class? Talia? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Are you listening to the class? Jeremias? Yes, teacher. Yes, I am, teacher. Good. That's the way we respond, as you can see. Perfect. And remember, we're talking about actions happening now. Actions happening now. Very good. Let's go with another example. Let's go with another example. Imagine that I ask you about your family members. You know, we can be like, is your brother? Or yeah, let's say brother. Is your brother um, having lunch? I'll say eating lunch. Eating lunch right now. So this this case, you answer or you reply differently. Or you said yes, he is, or you can say yeah, no, he isn't. Because now we're talking about your brother. Is he? Is he eating lunch right now? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Then we were having some doublish questions, right? Doublish questions. Remember that I'm just a I'm just reinforcing what we did in the previous class. Okay, we already saw this. Okay, with doublish questions, we can get different kind of questions, right? For example, the most common question is, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? So with doublish questions, we analyze the, the structure. We use a doublish word. So then we, we get this. Las preguntas de ese tipo, utilizamos la estructura similar. Pero incluimos a doublish word at the beginning. What are you doing now? And you can say, I'm listening to the class. I'm eating lunch now. Etc. etc. For example, what are you doing now, Kenya? What are you doing now, Kenya? Can you hear me? Sorry, yes. teacher. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, I'm doing... Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Viendo la clase. Oh, okay. Probably you can say I am a, let me see, you can say I am watching the presentation probably or the examples. Receiving classes or yes, sir, teacher. Yeah, I'm, rece I'm receiving classes or I am taking classes, you can say. I am taking an English class, an English class. Very good. Thank you, Kenya and Carolina. Okay. That's it. I'm sorry. In Saraya. Can you speak a little bit louder, Soraya? Sorry. Voy a hablar un poquito más fuerte. Se escucha bien. 
poquito el, el audio. Podría ser I playing attention y clap. Creo que tiene problemas ahorita con el audio, porque se escucha de volumen bien bajo. No le logro escuchar. Sí, es, logro entender que está, que está queriendo dar, usando un ejemplo. Teacher, en, en este caso sería, digamos, si yo estoy escribiendo las oraciones, sería I am reading, no, I am writing, ¿verdad? Writing yes. in the sentences. Exactly. I am reading the sentences. Yeah. It, so, Raya, if you can send us your example in the chat, please. Se nos puede dar su ejemplo en el chat, Raya, porque creo que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Se escucha bajito el, el audio. Okay. Please. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, in the meantime, that Soraya send us a if you answer in the chat, I will give you another example of a question. You can say, where is your sister going now? What is your sister going now? She is going to uh, the supermarket. So now the question is different because we're using a, a different Dalish word, which is where. When do we use where, do you remember? When we talk about places. Exactly. Location. When we talk about places, good. In locations. Where is your sister going now? She's going, what is it, the place or location? It's a supermarket. Okay. Another example can be like, when, are they um, sending the hunger? When are they sending the hunger? They are sending the hunger now. Okay, or we can change it. We can say today. Today. They are sending the hunger today. Okay, so I am right in the chat. I am paying attention in class. Yes. Very good, Saraya. Thank you for the example. I'm sorry, but I couldn't listen to you, your microphone. So you can revise if you want. You can revise yeah. your microphone. Yes. Sorry. En el ejemplo de la compañera vi que decía playing. No es paying. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I saw paying. Yeah. Uh, Saraya is... Paying. Okay, paying. And attention is like this. Yeah, I'm sorry. Exactly. Exactly. Without L. Okay. Any questions right here, guys? Questions? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. Moving on, let me give you more examples. In the previous class, we were looking at this, right? I was giving you some examples and I told you to, to, to look at the pictures. We have different actions that these uh, children are doing, right? In the first one, we can see a boy, right? This is a boy. What is he doing? What is the boy doing? He is swimming. He is swimming in the pool. He is swimming in the, in the ocean. He is swimming in the sea, etc. etc. He is not sleeping. That is a negative way, right? Because we can look at the picture and we notice that, yeah, he is not sleeping. He is not sleeping. That is the first scenario. In the second photo, we have a, a girl. What is she doing? What is the girl doing? She is dancing. She is dancing. She is dancing on the floor. She is dancing a salsa. 
is dancing, uh, I don't know, electronic music, etc. etc. She is not reading a book. As you can notice, and you can identify that, yeah, she doesn't have a book. She's not reading a book, right? She's moving, she's moving and she's dancing the face. In the last one, we can see three guys, right? Three guys. What are they doing? They are running. They are running in the park. They are running in the street. They are running in, I don't know, in the neighborhood, etc. They are not eating. They are not eating pizza. They are not eating um, what, chicken. They are not eating hamburgers, etc. So that's the way we identify you know, the actions that people are doing in those illustrations right in the States. All right, these were some examples that I gave you in the previous class. Any questions? No? No, teacher, no. Okay, thanks. Moving on. Then, in the previous class, and I will show you just this because I have another activity. I was giving you this other scenario, right? We can identify many people there. They are performing different actions. Uh, some people are dancing, some people are eating, some others are drinking or speaking right, having a conversation, et cetera, et cetera. So I was giving you different examples, right? Like Tom is singing a song, Lucy isn't eating pizza. Okay, let's go one by one, sorry. Let's identify Tom. We have different people here. Jason, Claire, Sam, Danny, Tom, Lucy, Helen, Eve, Dave, and Judy. Let's look at Tom. This is Tom. Tom is singing a song. Singing a song. Lucy. What is Lucy? Lucy is over here. Lucy is not or isn't eating pizza. What is she doing? What is she doing? Dancing. She's dancing. She's dancing. She's dancing, yeah. She's dancing. Let's look at Sam and Danny. So this is Sam and this is Danny. Sam and Danny are speaking. They are speaking. I mean, they are drinking and speaking, right? Yeah. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, what's the difference between talk and speak? Oh, okay. In, in, what, in what time we can use? They are similar. They are similar, but if mm -hmm. you say, uh -huh. for example, I talk to you, I talk to you. So probably we are in a in a different scenario and I'm talking to you, which is only with you. But if you say you speak, it can be a, in general, right? I speak a, to the audience. Probably you are in a in a conference and you're okay. the speaker the speaker so you speak to the audience in the audience you have many people some professionals etc etc so that can be the difference if i say if i use talk to you it's because i'm having a conversation only with you if you say speak so that can be like in general but most of the times people bury these two actions or these two verbs they use a speak and they use talk in, in the same way so you can use a speak in this case, a speak, mm -hmm. speaking, it's okay. okay. Or you can say talking. If we say, to, if, if we say talk, it's good too. Someone told me in another occasion that the difference wa was talk uh, was, um, we can use it when we talk in the fun. In there, sorry? When we talk uh, in the fun. In the telephone, we're talking. Oh, okay, okay. In the yeah. speak, uh, the same, the same thing you said. Exactly. 
yeah, most of the times we say like this, right? I'm talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. I'm talking on the phone, so I'm having a, a conversation or I am having a call and mm -hmm. I'm talking on the phone. Yes. And the speak is more like, you know, probably you're, you're having or you're giving a speech. You're giving a speech okay. and you're in an audience, you have an audience, you're in a conference, you're explaining some topics, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we keep on. Look at Helen. This is Helen. So Helen isn't drinking soda. What is she doing? She's eating pizza. She's eating pizza. That's right. She's eating She's pizza. She's eating pizza. Good. What about the last ones? Claire and Jason. This is Jason and this is Claire. Jason or Claire and Jason aren't dancing. What are they doing? They, they are talking about Tom. Maybe. Okay, they are talking about Tom. Good. What else? Another idea? Mm, yeah, they are talking about Tom. Another possibility can be they are laughing. They are laughing. Oops. They are laughing. It can be a uh, Tom. They're laughing at Tom. Teacher, okay. riéndose, riéndose o burlándose es lo mismo. Oh. Laughing. Um, it can be similar. It can be similar. Yeah. Yes. But if you ask me for, for that action, like burlarse, mm, it can be in, a, in another way. It can be in another way. So probably you can say like, um, they are cheating, they are cheating. Or you can just laugh, laughing. Okay. All right, any questions over here? Not the chair. Perfect. Moving on to the following exercise. And for this exercise, I will give you five minutes because I have a game. What I want to do, I need you to look at the photo. Look at the photo. We had different people in here and this is a scenario in this house. We have a family, right? We have Cindy, we have Grandma Sue, we have Yusel, which is uh, the dog, right? The pet, the dad. Baby Ben, and we have uh, Eva, right? What I want to do, look at them, look at the family in the house. They are doing different activities. What I want to do is simple. I need you to construct the question in the present continuous, make full questions about the pictures, then answer the questions, okay? We have an example here. What, we have some words, okay? That is not the question. You need to construct the question. What, Evan, where? So the question is, in the present continuous, what is Evan wearing? He's wearing trousers. Trousers. What? Let me. Where and sit. Let me, let me help you with the first one. Let me give you the first one as an example too. And then you're going to continue working on these examples. Listen. So, number one says what does drink okay what that drink so we need to consider the question in the present continuous what is that drinking that is the question in the present continuous and then we need to answer the question so look at the picture what do you think what is that drinking He's, He's drinking, drinking tea. 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 He's drinking. It can be tea, as you said, or it can be coffee. He's drinking tea. Tea or coffee. Teacher, what does mean throw trouser? Trouser is similar to pants. Pants. 
trousers. It's similar to pants. Oh. Yeah. Trousers is, is, is British. Trousers is British. And pants is American. Oh, gracias. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what you have to do, guys. I will give you five minutes for this exercise. Please continue with number two until number six with the questions. And I will ask you in a few minutes. Go ahead, the notebooks with the exercises. Follow the example and the example that I gave you related to number one. Go ahead. If you have any questions, let me know. So I can, I can give you a hand. Okay, in the weekend that you're working, I will ask you something. Have you ever played Kahoot? ¿Alguna vez han jugado Kahoot? Eh, así como dominó o rompecabezas. Mm, no, no. Oh. It is not a board game. Eh, this is an online game. Eso es un juego en línea. ¿Quién conoce Kahoot? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado Kahoot? No, teacher. Pasada, teacher. Oh, la vez pasada, teacher. Solo de pegar juego yo, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Eh, ¿Qué me sonó o, o dijo algo con respecto a la vez pasada? No, no. ¿Ana Silvia? Creo que fue Ana Silvia. No, 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 y eso voy a aprovechar ahorita el tiempo para explicarles, ustedes me escuchan, y en lo que trabajamos en los ejercicios. Ese juego es en línea, Kahoot. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a irnos a una página web. Yo les voy a compartir el link en el chat. Se van a ingresar por medio de ese link en el chat y se van a quedar en espera. Es decir, vamos a, voy a rapidito mostrarles eso. Mira. Va a ingresar acá. Le va a pedir un fin de juego. Les pido de favor que me, eh, cuando iniciamos la actividad, esa actividad, eh, les pido la, un... paciencia. La vez ¿verdad? pasada jugamos con... ¿Perdón? La vez pasada jugamos ese con usted. Oh, sí, ¿verdad? Ya se me había olvidado. Ah, pues ya estamos familiarizados, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Todos jugamos con... Eh, todos... Seguimos en el juego. ¿O hay alguien acá que no, no lo jugó la vez pasada? Yo, yo no lo jugué, teacher. Okay. ok. Sigo explicando, sigo explicando. Sigamos trabajando. Lo que debemos hacer una vez les comparte el link, ustedes ingresen al link, van a estar acá, en esa página web. Les voy a pedir un pin de juego, les pido paciencia. Yo les voy a compartir el pin de juego en la pantalla. En la pantalla, van a ver el pin de juego y ustedes lo van a ingresar. Una vez ingresen, les va a pedir un nombre. Ahí aparece como un nickname, un apodo, ¿verdad? O, en todo caso, les pido que escriban su nombre mejor, un nombre y un apellido. Así yo reconozco quiénes son. Y, porque vamos a estar viendo en la pantalla eh, las posiciones, ustedes van a ir adquiriendo puntaje, puntos, y como hacen ese puntaje, ¿verdad? ustedes van a, ir en, van a aparecer en el podio. En el podio, es decir, las primeras cinco posiciones o lugares. Eh, según vayamos trabajando en este juego, ¿verdad? Eh, son preguntas, el juego consta, o trata de eso. Se les muestra algunos ejercicios o preguntas. Ustedes deben de complementarlas. Las, las preguntas o ejercicios son de opciones múltiples. Se van a ver opciones múltiples y ustedes deben seleccionar la, la respuesta correcta. Algo que les voy a pedir de favor y la vez pasada lo experimentamos, ¿verdad? Todos, es de que ustedes deben de estar en, la, en las dos en los dos escenarios. Cuando me refiero a los dos escenarios, me refiero a que deben de estar en la, en la videoconferencia de, revisando o viendo las preguntas y las respuestas eh, en mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Ahí se, vamos a las preguntas y las respuestas. En el dispositivo que ustedes estén, si están en una computadora, les recomiendo, si están en la computadora en la, en la clase, les recomiendo que ingresen al juego desde, la, desde el teléfono. Hagan el juego desde el teléfono. Es más fácil. Porque ustedes solo ven la pregunta en la, en la computadora, en la pantalla, 
las respuestas y ustedes solo contestan el teléfono. Es más fácil. Pero si estamos en un solo dispositivo, ustedes deben de estar cambiando ventana. ¿Qué me refiero? Deben de estar haciendo esto. Por ejemplo, irse a la, a la pantalla que estamos acá, ¿verdad? Y después irse a la, a la página web y contestar rapidito. Quien conteste rápido acá, que seleccione la respuesta rápido, obtiene más puntos. Esa es la clave, ¿verdad? Quien responde más rápido, entonces, eh, recibe más puntaje. Es que, así como vamos a estar haciendo este juego, eh, ustedes, si están en un solo dispositivo, repito, deben estar eh, a menos de ventana, porque en la videoconferencia, en, la, en, la, en mi pantalla, ustedes deben estar viendo la pregunta y las posibles respuestas. Luego que ustedes obtienen las respuestas, se van rapidito a la página web y deben de seleccionar la opción correcta. Algo que deben de tomar muy en cuenta es que en la página web, cuando empecemos el juego, eh, si están en el dispositivo móvil, y creo que en la PC también, cuando ustedes se van a la página web, hacen el cambio de ventana, les va a aparecer solo lo, las figuritas, los colores, no las respuestas. Obviamente ustedes ya vieron las respuestas en, en, la, en la pantalla principal, en la videoconferencia, se ven las respuestas y ahí tienen las respuestas. Lo que deben de hacer es ver el color y ver la figurita. Cuando vayamos a la página web, seleccionamos la la figura que nosotros pues, verificamos antes, ¿verdad? Así como vamos a estar haciendo ese juego, lo hacemos en un solo dispositivo, o sea, en la PC o en la computadora, los que tengamos ambos dispositivos podemos hacer eso, es mucho mejor. En la computadora, sé que están en la clase, ven las preguntas ahí y en el dispositivo móvil contestar las preguntas. ¿Ok? No sé si me explico. En el caso de los... Sí, Perfecto. Yes, en el caso de los compañeros que, que no jugaron la vez pasada, ¿se dudas? En el caso de Jeremías. Sí. Okay. No jugué la vez pasada, teacher, pero mi respuesta nunca llegaba a tiempo porque todo lo hice en la computadora. Sí, sí. Lo que podría hacer, si, si, si va a continuar en la computadora, y le recomiendo que utilice las, la, la combinación de teclas, las que, las que hago yo, no sé si se lo hace. En el caso de la... De la de las teclas Alt y la tecla Tab. Esas dos, esas dos teclas. Puede utilizarlas, puede hacer el, el cambio de, de ventana. Hasta Pero si lo a... hago desde el teléfono como usted nos sugiere, oh. eh, eh, usted lo manda el link en el WhatsApp. ¿Cómo lo es? voy a mandar ahí también, lo voy a mandar ahí también. Creo que lo voy a enviar ahí mejor porque algunos creo que no, si lo hacen en, en el teléfono, no tienen instalada Zoom en el en su dispositivo, ¿verdad? Imagino. En el WhatsApp. Ver, lo voy a enviar por WhatsApp, el, el link. No hay ningún problema. Okay, let's begin with this exercise and then we're going to go with the game. Let's go question by question, okay? Question number one, we said that the, the answer is, what is that drinking? He's drinking tea and coffee. Let's go with number two. What is the answer for question number two? What is the question and then the answer? Who is playing? Who are playing with a ball? Okay. Baby Who... Brick is, is playing with a ball. Good. Who is playing with a ball? That is the question. Good. Look at the photo. Yeah, as you said, Baby Ben. This is Baby Ben. He's playing with a ball. So he has a ball. Let me show you. So, yeah, baby Ben has a ball. Okay. Very good. So, that is the answer. Baby Ben is playing with a ball. Okay, number three, volunteer. When is uh, Evan sitting? Where, remember, where, no when, where. Is uh, where, where is Evan sitting? Yes. What is the answer? Evan sitting in, in the, the Evan is sitting in the dining room. Is that correct? Yes. Evan is sitting in the dining room. Because in this case, we're asking for a location. So we can say, because they are in the house, we can say the parts of the house, living room, dining room, bathroom, etc., etc. So in this case, Evan is 
sitting in the dining room. Or on the chair, teacher? Or on the chair, yes. On the chair. Yes. Number four. What is sitting we do? What is Remember? sitting? What is yes. sitting? Sitting. What doing? Doing. 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 Exactly. Doing. Don't forget the ING. Doing. Forget. Cindy doing painting. Okay. Right. Cindy. Right. Cindy is what said painting. Don't say doing, doing painting. Let's say Cindy is painting. Cindy is painting. Or Cindy is writing. You said right? Writing. writing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another possibility? Look. I I put in my answer that she was um, Cindy is making uh, is is doing her homework. Okay. Yeah, that's another possibility. Very good. También otra posibilidad es que Cindy está haciendo cuentas porque ahí tiene como una calculadora o no sé qué tiene por ahí. Yeah, absolutely. Already as is here, Cindy is doing homework. Or, as I said, Sandra, Cindy is doing math. Okay, pretty good. So these are some possibilities. Very good, they are correct, they are valid. Let's go with number five. Who is sleeping? Yes, who is sleeping? Who is sleeping, guys? You, who is sleeping? You you so. sleeping in front of the chimney. Yes. You tell is sleeping in front of the chimney. That's right. Okay, you so is a pet, is a dog. That is the name of the, the pet. In the last one, oh, that is the, the answer that already. Where is you sleeping? Okay. Where is you still is sleeping? Where is you still sleeping, guys? It sleeping on the rock. Okay. Where is it sleeping on is it the road, right? The road. R U G? No. Chimney. Bro, I, I forget the, the word hmm? rock. I think yeah. it's like this. No, no, no. I have forgotten the other word because another possibility is carpet. 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 Um, let me look for it. Let me look for it because I have forgotten the word. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The rock. We can be in the carpet, on the carpet, on the rock, on the on the carpet. Is this this is the carpet or this is the rock? This. Or another possibility, as Michelle said, it can be like near the chimney, near the chimney. Yes, near. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Well, these are the answers, guys, for these uh, exercises. Any questions? No question, teacher. Okay. Well, we're going to start with the game because it's almost time uh, to finish the class. But we're going to do the game. No worries. Uh, let me see. This is the Kahoot game. So we have 16 questions. Vamos a tener 16 preguntas. Eso es el juego va a ser con base en el tema. Pressing continues. Así es que les voy a compartir el link ahorita en WhatsApp. O les pido que ingresemos una vez obtengamos el link. Ingresemos a esta web page. Y vamos a, a iniciar con el juego. Ahorita se lo comparto. Listo. Y ya les muestro el, el pin de juego. 
Vamos a utilizar el present continuous con todas las formas que hemos visto. Son 16 preguntas. Van a tener alrededor de 10 a 20 segundos, si no me equivoco, por pregunta. Y obviamente, si contestamos rápido, terminamos antes, ¿verdad? Y, pero sí, tomen su tiempo. Pero si ustedes contestan antes, contestan rápido, recuerden, obtienen más puntos. Es que vamos a iniciar. Somos, son Teacher. 22. Dígame. El pin, me pedí el pin. Sí, ahorita, ahorita se nos muestra. Sí, gracias. Ese es el pin. 55, 78, 12, sure, I, don't, I don't hear the, I don't listen to the indications. Okay, we're going to play the Kahoot game. The Kahoot game is about present continuous. So you have 15 questions. What you have to do is to, like I said before, right? And I will say this in Spanish. Lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a estar intercambiando, si estamos en un solo dispositivo, vamos a estar intercambiando ventanas. Porque ustedes deben de verificar esa pantalla, mi pantalla, un juego, ¿verdad? Las preguntas y pues las respuestas. Una vez hayan localizado o hayan obtenido la respuesta correcta ustedes, rapidito vamos a la otra ventana, que es la, la página web. Y vamos a contestar. Vamos a contestar rapidito. Una vez hayan terminado, pues vemos los puntajes, quiénes están en las primeras posiciones. Y luego vamos con la segunda pregunta. Vamos a ir de esa manera. Les decía, les decía, si están en una, permítame, si están en una, en una PC conectados a la clase y tienen un dispositivo móvil, sería pues, mucho mejor si ustedes ingresan al juego desde el teléfono. O si ustedes solo responden en el teléfono y van las preguntas en el teléfono. Que básicamente eso es lo que vamos a hacer. No sé si hay dudas. Eh, Jeremia, ¿sabes que me dijiste que tienes una pregunta? Sí, quería preguntarle si me podía retirar, es que me tengo que ir a vacunar. Ah, oh, ok, no se preocupe. Thank you. Bueno. I see Adiós, you tomorrow. Teacher. Yeah, no worries. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bueno, y vamos a iniciar en, en un momento. Ahorita tengo solo 14 participantes. Vamos a iniciar. Eh, me disculpo con lo que hacemos. Por el tiempo, ¿verdad? Sé que algunos tienen que hacer otras actividades. Entonces, que no les quiero programar en su tiempo, ¿verdad? No sé si podemos ingresar a los demás. Eh, en el caso de Michelle, no sé si hay preguntas, hay questions. ¿Questions, Michelle? No, teacher. Ok. 15. Ok, 15 participants. En la parte inferior derecha, en la parte inferior derecha, una vez iniciamos el juego, va a estar el pin ahí, el pin de juego. Por si el juego lo saca, o no sé, de repente nuestro, nuestra conexión falla, ustedes pueden ingresar nuevamente al juego, se pueden reincorporar. Y vamos a iniciar en un par de minutos con lo que hacemos, me disculpo, pero por el tiempo sé que... Repito, tienen otras actividades algunos y no les quiero robar más su tiempo. Y muchas gracias por su, por su tiempo y paciencia. ¿Podemos accesar todos? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Right now I have 17 and you are 22, so I'm missing five people. Good. Sandra is in. 18, we're missing four more. Falta cuatro más. Voy a dar dos minutos más. Si no, o sea, se puede recuperar. Estamos pendientes. ¿okay? Te repito, el pin va a estar abajo, en la parte inferior derecha. Ustedes pueden ingresar sin ningún problema. Sigamos cercanos. Si tenemos problemas, ustedes se pueden recuperar. No hay ningún problema. Creo que vamos a iniciar por el tiempo. Let's go. Present continuous. Las 16 questions. Go ahead. Okay, question number one. They are now, look at the picture, look at the photo. Cooking, eating, baking. Look at the photo. 10 seconds. Five seconds.
Yeah, they are cooking. They are cooking now. Absolutely. Let's see the podium. Laura, Liliana, Vanessa, Stephanie, and Ricardo are in the first position. Next, number two. Let's get ready. She is a letter. Look at the photo. Writing. We'll have different options in this case. Look at the spelling for the right spelling. Look at the spelling. Look at the spelling. Five seconds. Yeah, she is writing a letter. This is the correct spelling, just one T. One T. So I'm gonna take. Let's see the positions. Wow, Ricardo, Vanessa, Javier, Stephanie, and Dalia. Number three. False or true, true or false, sorry. She's having fun. Is that correct? Correct or incorrect? Look at the photo, look at the photo. Vamos la imagen, con base en imagen, verdadero o falso. Yeah, that's false because they are working. Well, she's working. She's working. But she's not having fun. Okay. Next, number four. Let's see the podium first. Vanessa, wow, we're having changes. Vanessa, Stephanie, Dahlia, Kenya, and Susie. Next, number four. They dancing? Question. Look at the photo. Is, do, or can? Five seconds. Yep. Are they dancing? That is the answer. Are they dancing? Very good. See the positions. Esa, Dalia, Kenya, Javier, Javier, sorry, and Susie. Number five. He's speaking. Look at the photo. Is, does, or can? Ten seconds. Five seconds. Yes, is she speaking? Is she speaking? Pressing continue, remember, pressing continues. See the podium. Okay, so now we have Adam is in the fifth place. So the fourth. Now we continue with Vanessa, Xavier, and Kenya. Number six, true or false, he's reading a book. Look at the photo, true or false. That's false, yes. What is he reading? What is he reading? The newspaper. The newspaper, yes, the newspaper, excellent. Okay, Vanessa, Kenya, Susie, Adam, and Stephanie. Next, number seven. It has multiple choices. They are, vamos a seleccionar más de uno en ese caso. Laughing, talking, and eating. Vamos a seleccionar dos respuestas, si no me equivoco. O una de ellas. Five seconds. Three, two, one, turns over. Yeah, so it can be like, they are laughing or they are talking. Yes. They are laughing. They are laughing or they are talking. The two, the, the two activities, the two actions. Okay. Are correct. Let's see. Wow. Kenya, Stephanie, Xavier, Vanessa, and Adam. Next, number eight. Which option is correct? Look at the photo and the answers. He isn't now in the city or he doesn't know the city. He isn't now in the city. He doesn't know. Yeah, the correct one is he doesn't know that this city. Knowing is a, is a steady verb. So it's not an action verb. That's why we're gonna use it in the present continuous. 
That is another aspect that I'm going to mention it tomorrow about this verse, a steady verse, because we cannot use them with the present continuous. It's a clase de verbos, no se pueden utilizar con el present continuous. Voy a explicar un poquito acerca de eso mañana. That's why we cannot say he isn't now in the city. So we say we use the simple present. He doesn't know the city. Utilizamos el presente simple en ese caso, con ese verbo, ¿verdad? con ese verbo. O lo podemos utilizar en presente continuo. Ok. Next. Nine. True or false. The child is painting. Look at the photo. True or false. Ten seconds. Yeah. This case is false because she is coloring. She is coloring. Painting is different. Coloring is another thing. I'm sorry. Okay, we give the same positions. Number 10. Are they now? Look at the photo. Learning or teaching? That's a classroom. We, we are, they, they are students. Yeah, they are they learning now? That is a question. Okay. Okay, so now Adam is in the fourth position and Vanessa is in the fifth position. Let's go to number 11. She is for clothes. Look at the photo. Shopping or shopping? Well, we had it two ways, but look at the spelling, the correct spelling. seconds. The correct one is shopping with double double P because we are consonant vowel consonant. Don't forget. It's double P. Stephanie, Kenya, Xavier, Adam, and Vanessa. Number 12, true or false? They are walking. Look at the photo. Walking. Yeah, it's false. What are they doing, guys? Running. running. They are running, yes. They are running. Good. That's why it's false. Okay, so we is in the second position and Kenny is in the third position. Moving on. 13. What are you thinking about? Is or do? Repeat the question. Five seconds. The answer is? R. Yeah. What are you thinking about? Yes. Then to complete the, the, the present continuous question. Perfect. Okay. Those are the changes. Number 14. What are they? Look at the photo and the answer is seeing, watching, or looking. Watching. Five seconds. Yeah, what are they watching? Pretty good. Next. Okay, well, we'll give you the same positions. I mean, we have some changes. There's a few, a little change. So now Adam is in the third position and Vanessa is in the fourth position. Let's go with the last ones. We will go with number 15. We're about to finish. Da is China today. Moon, rain, or sun? Ten seconds. The answer is yeah, the sun. The sun is shining today. Very good. So everybody answered correctly. Okay, let's go with the last one. We keep the same positions. 
The last one. Multiple choices again. Are you having fun now? Yes, it's absolutely so so or not it's rather boring. This is a personal question. That's for you. Three seconds. Three, two, one. Time's up. Yes, absolutely. So whatever the answer that you selected, it's okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's see the last positions. We get in the third position, Laura, good. The second position, we got Xavier. And in the first position, we got Tim. So, pretty good. So the last position, the feet in the fifth, the fourth position, Kenny is in the fourth position, and Adam is in the fifth position. Very nice. Thank you for your participation, guys. We're going to start right here. Any questions? And I'm sorry for the ones that couldn't participate. Lo siento por los que no podemos participar. Preguntas, dudas. No, teacher, muy poquito, ¿eh? otra hora hay que ponernos. <laughs> sí, sí. Bueno. Eh, teacher. Dime, Eric. Eh, eh, me incorporé un poquito tarde, no sé si habría problema ahí con la asistencia. Bueno, no se preocupe, que lo voy a incluir. Ok, gracias. Eh, hacemos, en el caso suyo, Eric, eh, recuerde estar en... en... En sintonía, ¿verdad? En este caso, ver los videos para que pueda ver el video para que pueda estar eh, al día con su compañero, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Bueno, chicos, eh, vamos a quedarnos hasta acá. El último recordatorio. No olviden completar la plataforma, lo que hacemos pendientes. Y solo eso. Mañana, pues, clase normal y vamos a discutir un poco el examen final. ¿Ok? Well, everybody, thank you for your time, your patience and participation in class. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Stay safe and blessings. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>